Hey YouTube. So I grabbed a NetBots 250 off eBay because I figured I would, um, you know, add some environmental monitoring to the rack. And these probes are stupid expensive. I did pay for uh, a temperature and humidity probe off eBay because I didn't know what humidity sensor they used. I figured the thermocouple is just a K-type. Um, I could probably get away with building those easily. But for door contacts, I'm certainly not going to pay a ton of money. So I was like, surely somebody's got a pinout. And then I found this pinoutguide.com uh, device cables pinout. And it looks like it just uses simple resistance to specify the cable type. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to try this. And so what I did here, um, I have this uh, end I just made up. And then I, I did this TIA EIAB. So it's uh, orange stripe orange, green stripe blue, blue stripe green, brown stripe brown. That's the order I did. So if you do that, TIA EIAB, uh, so orange stripe orange, green stripe blue, blue stripe green, brown stripe brown, looking down from the top of the connector, um, orange stripe and green stripe are your sense lines. And on this case, I put a 2.2K ohm resistor, um, and it immediately came up as a door contact. So, uh, because they documented here that a uh, 2K ohm resistor is a door switch. And would you believe it or not, uh, check that out. It came up as a, I mean, it was instantaneous. If I unplug it, I think it'll go away. Or probably. Error. I might have to hit F5. Let's see how I do this. She gone. She gone. I'll plug it back in. And F5. Back. So yeah, it's definitely resistance based. So anyhow, um, in previous experience with work, um, we had a highly integrated uh, facility where this was picking up stuff from... We had Modbus hooked into... HVAC stuff. Um, we also had these picking up like, you know, condensate traps and things that could fill up or, uh, you know, flood sensors and all that jazz. So you can do a lot with this, uh, these inputs. So now though, however, right, you can imagine uh, smoke, right? So 0.5 K ohm to 1 K ohm, temperature 0 to 0.4. So I could use this basically and build any sensors I want. I don't know what a vibration sensor provides as input. Um, there is a voltage input, so obviously it can take analog input. So if I do like the 6.5 to 7K ohm, um, it would allow me to have uh, voltage input uh, to the device. And it's interesting to me, though, because this says input pin is 7, and dry contact is 6 and 7. And then on the front, it looks like everything is generally 6 and 7, but I'm guessing the sensor data B and of course, you know, if we're using TIA EIA colors, uh, pin one is where I start with orange stripe, right? Uh, but yeah, so this pinoutguide.com, this seems to be accurate. Um, so yeah, if you've got uh, uh, one of these, you know, 250s, rack monitor 250s, 250A, or 200 series, it, honestly, they all seem like they use the same stuff. It is definitely resistance based. Um, and this uh, pinoutguide.com guide does seem to be accurate, so if that goes away, I guess you can use a Wayback Machine and go find it, but uh, I printed it here so I could play with it. Uh, hopefully save you some money, because those are stupid expensive cables. And while uh, a company might have no trouble paying $200 for a temperature and humidity plug, uh, you as a person with a home lab are not going to pay that much. It's a stupid price, so... Anyhow, I uh, hope that was fun, and uh, you guys have fun hacking your own cables together with one of these. See you later.